Hello. Loading. It doesn't want to load. Cheek. Oh. Doesn't want to load, does it? Should we keep going anyway? We'll see what happens. Hello, my name's Waldoski, and let's get into another part of Kingdoms of Amala Re Reckoning. Where we were, we were dressed as an assassin, aren't we? Welcome. Um, uh, you'll have to excuse me while I try and get a bit used to how things are going. So it's been a few weeks, I think, before I played this last. Be as many as you know, with fate shift or destroy all unraveling enemies and grant you a huge experience bonus. Right, so we had the Omni Blades. And what I wanted to see... Did I leave the Shepherd uniform in here? I kind of wanted to see what Shepherd's uniform looks like. Let's take all this Shepherd stuff. Vigilant. Oh, is it loading now? Ah, yeah, it is working. Just takes a while for my stream to load sometimes. Fate scours. So these are... F are these a f is that a fey weapon? Fey blade? Should we... I don't know, though, because I kind of want... Fate's mallet, fate's needles... Oh, can we compare that to what we've got? Very fast speed. Three burning. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Inventory armor. Shepherd's helm. Shepherd's Curious. Uh, Shepherd's Gauntlets. How much does this look like the N7 armor? Shepherd's Greaves. Oh, it tells you there, set 5 of 5. 0 out of 5. A running man is a card of desperation. It, like the armor crafted in its name, indicates someone in need of safety and security. The circle of Therosin believed that the running man also indicated a fate that could be changed. Isn't the, f isn't the fate what we had? The running man, I mean. Ah, it's, it's not bad armor, is it? Well, I mean, it is good armor. It does look on the shoulder. It does look like. Should we have a look at what it looks like with the Omni Blades? It's quite. It is quite futuristic y, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go back to our armor. We'll put the Running Man stuff on. Shit, wait. Running man armor. There we go. Robes. Oh, okay, they're robes. I see. Running man. That's why we don't have them. Running man leggings. And the running man boots. Does it give you some kind of... Uh, 
bonus if you get a complete, if you're wearing a complete set of armor. We kick. Oh shit. Uh, whoops. I kind of meant to just kick it. <laughs> like in fa I thought it was like Fable. I thought you could just kick it. Anyway, um. Right, what are we doing then? So, do we have you? What do. Wow, those chicken, they're target practice, aren't they? That Fay girl got what was coming to her. If someone else hadn't taught her a lesson, I would have. I'm sure you would have done. Um, do we have any um, Fay blades, chakras, scepters? Ah, oh, these are chakrams. That goes with the running man, doesn't it? Whoa. Whoa, those are quite cool. Where's the chicken for target practice? God, I really should have um, stayed in this game, shouldn't I? Do you know what I mean? I shouldn't have... Um, I shouldn't have started playing Syndicate so much. I should have sort of um, staggered them a bit. So because I'm, I'm a bit, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So you got the Shakrams, Song, and Iron Shakrams. What are Fey Blades? Are Shakrams Fey Blades? I don't know. You're hearing about these Fey Blades. See, I don't even know how you, how you use the bow. Triangle. Greetings. Do we have infinite ammo for the bow? Oh, shit. You're out of ammo, you have a limited supply of arrows. Arrows refill automatically after a short period. Oh, I see. That thing doesn't want to die, does it? Whoa, stop targeting the, ci the civilians. I might have to look at them. Is there a... Uh, moves? Long swords, great swords, daggers, backstab. A dagger attack that can be formed on unaware enemies. Oh, right, I see. That's probably why we want the... Alright, let's cl collapse them. Long bows. Fey blades. Silent scythe. Okay. Staves, sectors, chakrams. That's what a chakram is. Oh, they're different. Oh, they're different. Might abilities. Finesse. Sorceries. What does jump to ability mean? Oh, right, I see. Destiny's moves. Um, options. Is there a way to look? <sighs> Never mind. I'm sure we know all the, the stuff that we need to know. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. She isn't doing very well. Did we? Oh, we we. Okay, we um. We activated all of that. And what's all these things? Hmm.
There's a shop, aren't they? Uh, and civilians, shops. What's this place? Oh, this, this might be the bar, won't it? Pub. The the old. Wait, no, I haven't been in here before, have I? What do you have to say? doesn't annoy him. You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Huh? Haven't you seen it? The Grim Tower to the west. Avoid its shadow if you can, because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one. I would know. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Such law. For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. Okay. As you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. Bandits, ruthless and well organized, the Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. They're not meant to be? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. Uh, what's it's the formula? A version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alphar can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Nice. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around the plant. I've the, never seen one so eager to learn. The ember eyes, I'll help you. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. It will be on sure both our heads. Gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. What's this, Agnur? The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. Karth. Here for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. 
He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Farewell. Recipe for trouble. Wait, can we look in? Let's have a look in your place. You've got a downstairs and an upstairs. Ooh, an alchemical lab. I don't want to loot it. We can inspect stuff and um, read stuff, can't we? This book seems to be a work in progress. A dialectical, a dialectical survey of cripple spore caps by Nane Hanry. What is the essence of cripple spore cap, and what is possible in harvesting one? This question will lead us through a deep and thorough examination of the species of mushroom indigenous to the many caves of Dalantarth. Many scholars have posited theories on the shortcomings of such a volatile ingredient in the use of everyday alchemy. However, a true alchemist can avoid the pitfalls of the laywoman. Should one be astute of mind and resilient in the face of adversity, one can overcome the hazards involved when achieving the potential of the crippled spore cap. Let us begin by examining what exactly the crippled spore cap exactly is the cripple spore cap. The cripple spore cap is a type of fungus often found at the base of large trees. It is unique in that when left to grow undisturbed it will at least it will reach at least eye level. It exudes a faint metallic odor and is yellowish brown in color. The conical fruit body is narrow and darkens near the stalk. The entire body also glows with a soft luminescence. But do the physical characteristics of the cripple spore cap capture the entirety of what it is? The poisonous nature of cripple spores has been well documented in the overview of mycological study by my sister and fellow scholar Aura Henry. Besides the toxins found in the mushroom's biology, the magical essence of cripple spore is firmly in the poison sphere. This makes this harmless looking cripple spore a formidable alchemy ingredient. How do we go about investigating this essence? The true potency and uses of this mushroom are open only exposed when we probe beneath the surface there is much more that, that can be observed there is much more than can be observed by simple field research one must have an inquisitive mind and question the basic fundamental assumptions that predispose us to a hasty bias once again what is possible in harvesting this deceptive alchemical ingredient many things the first and foremost and the subject of my personal research is huh? Chickens, a dead chicken. See, they they glow, don't they? The things that you can search, they glow ever so. What's a pocket charm? Simple charm with no real effects. Oh, well, it'd be pointless to steal then, wouldn't it? Now we're not. They say the spirits of the Arathi dwell in its dark corridors. I don't go near the place. I wonder if Catherine always healing touch is as soothing as everyone claims. I'm sure no one if she touched me. What the hell is up with this guy's head? I wonder if Catherine always healing touch is as soothing as everyone claims. How do we do this again? Oh, I only want to look in here. Minor health, white flake, copper talisman. Oh, we get XP for that. Oh yeah, this is the... F Let's have a look up here. 
game is going to be a lot of exploring and a lot of reading, so I'm sorry if you don't like that. Farmer's trousers, I don't need that. Right, let's... Should we do our mission? Because I think last time we'd... Um, well, obviously apart from this place, we'd fully explored everywhere. Sustained abilities like the Envenomed Edge can be unmapped while they're turned on. This lets you keep their effects, but free up an ability slapped. Oh, it's X to run, I forgot. I'd hate to see another life wasted. Stay close to the village. There's no reason to leave. Take my word for it. I've talked to you already. It's this blue mushroomy stuff. Carry so much item, though. Oh, okay. No, I feel like I've been here before. Right. So what have we got? Okay. Ah, R one stealth. That would be useful. I forgot about that. Well, maybe we haven't been here before. Even worse. What's this? Gloves of luck. Charge. What is this stuff? What's a white flake? A chalky substance carried from distant lands. White flake grants the essence of ice to your potion. What have I got? Omni blades. And apparently this charged scepter is better. What does the 19 out of 20... Oh, does that mean it needs to be repaired? Seven fire... See, I don't think we need that, do we? Finesse. Why does it have more? Oh shit, take the white flake. Who's this? I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get back up again. Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? Not much is known about the fabled beings of order. They abandoned this world long ago, leaving ruins such as this as a testament to their glory. I hope that by spreading tales of spirits and boogeymen, they can prevent the curious villagers from exploring too deeply. One can always hope. I'm skilled in alchemy, but it has never brought me riches or respect. The only way I will ever find glory in this life is as part of the Red Legion. She, like so many others in Gorehart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. What? She, like so many others in Gorehart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. 
Okay. They're very careful about who they allow into their ranks. And they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Their discovery will fetch a high price in Rathia. Could even decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the red. Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusted, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry. I have no choice. Oh shit, he's attacking me. I kind of remember how to do this. Okay, <laughs> into the... oh shit, more of them. I'm thinking we're going to need um, high level stuff. Crate smashed. Level up. Alchemy, blacksmithing from some enemies in the world. Detect hidden enemies. Suasion. Spelling. Let's do that. Three points available. Okay, so what we wanted. We wanted dagger mastery, weren't we? Weapon attacks. Unlocks charge special attacks for daggers and fey blades. Passive, your paras with daggers lets you get the most out of every cut and thrust. Next level Shadow Flare, what? Your deadly grace allows you to tremendous amounts of damage from stealth. Unlocks new stealth attacks with daggers or fey blades that can instantly kill an unaware enemy if you deal enough damage. How much Yeah. Requires five points in finesse abilities. Should just put them in there. Why am I not... I'm not taking damage. Why am I not taking damage? Not that I'm complaining, of course. What's this thing? Oh, 
Wait, have we missed something? What's this circle? Can we not check the map? Destroy the shipments. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's telling of something. Is it reporting back to whoever? Can't remember her name. Shit, two ways. Which way's the wrong way? Three ways. We're not something tells me we're not gonna be able to sneak up on these guys. Go back, right? Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The ancient ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. What, what was that we just activated? Junk. Can you jump in this game? I don't know. Ah, oh, he's facing the other way. I wonder if you can junk gold coins. No, you can't. Fine cotton hat. No, we're not going to. We're not going to do any of that. That's a basic charged handle. Oh, we can't add that to junk. What's this thing? I think you can only do um, specific jumps, can't you? Don't think you can actually jump. Oh, they've spotted me. Oh, we don't want to enter. No, not yet. 
Oh, I'm glad it gave me that tutorial though. R2 and L2. Just got to check around back. Nothing out down here. Going for a nice light jog. Ooh, ah, oh, I can't. Well, his head got stuck in a rock. Shipments. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Iron longsword, no. Frosted. built of stone. Lovingly this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality? They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them. Still, you can see them. They are like pathetic charades, some with good intentions and you can't fault them that, but the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you. Uh. You, 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 you've got to check back up that way. Won't take long. So anyway, how's everybody's day doing? Everybody's day going, doing. It's going good, going good. So this way just comes up to this way and it's blocked. Okay, dokey. So you had to go this way. What's up with my health? It was I wasn't getting hit earlier on. Or I got hit, but then it regened. So, ah, unless it's something to do with that charm that we'd activated. Was it a charm? I don't know. Something like that. What's the saving icon? The red one. When surrounding the defense. Oh, that would have been useful. Crude leather leggings. Yeah, you can only do context. Agar for fun for fall. Contextual jumping. Is that the entrance? What's this thing? Nailed it. Crude birch. Ah. Oh. We'll have to come back. We have to sell our junk. Is there a way you can put stuff into storage? Because 
So I don't know if I want to junk the shepherd uniform. Where is this? Oh, I'm a bit lost. Isn't this the... Oh no, this isn't... Where's the way we came from? What's up here? There's an enemy up here. Can I sneak up on him? Oh, 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 careful. Uh, he can dodge too. Sneaky, sneaky. Threadbare lining. Oh, Jesus. Omni blades are quite powerful, aren't they? Ah. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to go. I can't. I can't take any of it, can I? I need to go back to the back to the city. Was it this way? We should look at my map. Yeah, it is this way. There should be a a thing this way that oh there it is. Can can I see what that does death's touch I don't know what that does though it's like um, a buffer isn't it like what you had in Witcher which I still I need to play that too we can't play Witcher 1 on stream unfortunately Oh, you still you get gold from that. The staff is the definitive weapon of the spell casters, allowing the wheel that. Welcome. Can I part with some gold? I'm not going to part with some. Wait, shop. Sell all junk. Right. Sell. The flame. Oh, have I picked all this up? I don't think I'm going to use any of this stuff, though, am I? What's the tower? See, I don't think I'm going to use any of this stuff. Can we buy this? I'm going to sell all this stuff. It's 
probably a bad idea. Small iron blades. Uh, why did I pick that? Can you buy it back? You can buy it back, I think. Shepherds, Destiny, that's what we're... Tower, Students, we don't need that. We don't want that, do we? And grass. Crude barge. What is... That's gold. Gold. Oh, wait. We're going to need stuff to repair it. Does it break? Oh, fucking hell. We don't want that. The beast. I don't know what that is. The mountain. We're never going to use that. We're never going to use that. I don't think we're going to use any of this stuff. I think you can buy it back, can't you? Uh, sold items. Yeah, you can buy it back. So how do you repair stuff? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, backpack, that's what we wanted. 7,500. Oh, we nearly got that, though. Should buy some lockpicks. I'll lighten our load. The longbow is a superb ranged weapon, allowing you to fire both quick shots and more powerful charged shots while still moving about the battlefield. I'm guessing charged shots is just hold triangle, right? Yeah. Right, now what happens if we go back and talk to our main guy? What was her name? Nanny Henry. Be on your guard. The Red Legion are all about, and they do not take prisoners. Car. Why is Car? So eager to aid me in my work that I failed to pursue the proper references. Yes, I have only myself to blame for this catastrophe. How was I to know he was a scout and a thief? His interest in alchemy appeared genuine. Our friendship was that too an act. Farewell. I don't know. That's an interesting debate, isn't it? You know the fallout where you, you become encumbered if you carry too much. Do you think that um, it's better to be encumbered and carry too much? Or whether your inventory is to just have a cap. I don't know. I mean, being encumbered is practically like... Like that anyway, because you can't... You can only walk, can't you? Where were we then? Oh, we, we were hit. Oh, wow, they... See, I don't know whether I should take... Oh. I don't know whether I should take this stuff. Yeah, take that. Do you know what? I'm going to junk it and keep it. Because it would be good. We need to save money to... Um, get a backpack. What have we got then? Shit, he's getting up. Death notice. 
This official document is meant to inform family members that Camden Wolfack to the Alpha Army has died in the line of duty. Dear Mr. Wolfack, Wolflack, we regret to inform you that your husband Camden Wolflack was killed in battle while serving on the walls of Melsenshire. Sincerely, General Tylera, Alpha Army. Do we need to, um... Oh, I don't know. Do we need to give that to someone? Someone's going to want that, aren't they? Oh, they, there's no way I could sneak up on these guys. Come on then. I didn't realise he was going to do that. Oh, we've alerted everyone else. So much for stealth. Bum, 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 bum. Should we really be killing all these people? Yeah, that's junk. Uh, gold's not junk, obviously. Ammon's, Ammon's Key. Siegbert's Journal. This journal is small and water-stained, but its pages remain intact despite the wear and tear. Journal of Siegbert Sowerth. Summer, day six, daybreak. Nothing today. My journey is young and the forest remains fairly hospitable to outsiders. Ignoring the warnings was a wise decision. There are no rivals. The search for Ammon's keys belongs to me and me alone. It is only a matter of time. A statue of Ammon litter the forest, taunting me. If I can just secure the keys, I will be able to open them and partake of their treasures soon. Summer, day 13, dusk. Odorath is a beautiful, is as beautiful as I have always heard, especially the perilous lands north of St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I was almost struck down by a sprite. That is, until a brave villager from Gorhart arrived on the scene to act as my saviour. He introduced himself as Ugna Odgray. Such an odd name. It can only belong to a Van Varani. Summer day 67, daybreak. I visited the House of Ballads grounds today. All of my adult life has been spent learning about these legendary figures, so even a slight glimpse was worth the trip. I am beginning to believe that one of Aman's keys lies behind its high walls. If my scholarly work has been done correctly, the location of the keys will soon be known to me. Summer day 83, dusk. I've done it. At long last, after years searching in the annals of Odessa and scouring the Feylands, I've secured one of the five fabled keys of Aman. Now, if only I could find the other four. Well, we'll take that. It'd be good if it added a quest, wouldn't it? I'm glad these chests are marked on the map too. Can you jump down there? What's down there then? Have I been down there? Oh yeah, I think so. This is fun. Bum, 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 bum. What's this? Very easy. I was gonna say, if it's very easy, I should be able to just fucking open it. What's a minor force potion? Oh, another one of these. She bested Strang in combat fair. Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter Nier. Nier? Like Nier Automata? No, Nier like close to me. I know, I was making a joke. 
Well, it wasn't a very good joke, was it? <laughs> Genuinely having an argument with myself now. That's always good, isn't it? Should we... Do, do, do. My eyes are glued to the map. Let's... Wait, what happens if we save this guy? Dude. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. That makes no sense. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alpha, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No? Then those are the good ones. Mortal races have no lasting grasp on this world, and in time the Fair Ones shall be our masters, beautiful and mighty. Legend tells of the great Fey city hidden beneath the canopies of Dalantarth. I've never met anyone who's been there, but I'm sure it's real. Yes, I'm quite sure. Not a doubt in my mind. Not a doubt in my mind. Father Dimwell and the others are fools, and their silly mission will wither and crumble. Finna and Arbos have glimpsed it with their ever-seeing eyes. Ha, <laughs> Finna. Finna. They believe I have the potential to succeed where all others have failed, including them. You see, they can't obtain what they desire, so they need someone more powerful to do it. And they will bestow upon me the wisdom of the Fey. Huh? I'm here to rescue Wait. you. Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Oh, fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they are sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. Uh, what? They are Fey Twins. Beautiful, magical creatures. They promise to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. They sound like they're going to betray you, mate. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Oh shit, is he going to follow me now? It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. It's called the Selkie Vale, and it's said to possess the power to transform its wearer into any form he wishes. Inna says it belongs to the Fae, but was stolen. Goodbye now. What do you mean, goodbye? Where is he going? Is he just going to stay there then? We have to do it for him. What's this? Oh, is he going to ed edge toward... Okay, let's... I'm going to get too confused with all this. I need to... Um... I need to... Concentrate on what I'm doing. Which is trying to destroy these box things. These shipments. What is that? junk sneaking into a camp do 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 oh 
Ooh, what's that? I'm going to keep that. Perfidious boots. A ring. Get rid of those boots. This music reminds me of medieval. Oh shit, we're in a fight. Did I alert someone? Oh shit, ow. Oh god, they can, um, they're a bit quicker than that. I thought she was going to try and aim. <laughs> a bit quicker than that, aren't they? Cotton shoes. Wait, hang on. Cotton shoes. Oops, no, cancel. I don't want to destroy it. Alright, finesse. Remove from junk. That was very easy, wasn't it? Ah, oh, damn, I added that to junk. <laughs> God damn it, what did I add to junk? Oh, yeah, I don't want that in junk. That menu's intuitive, isn't it? Because I just managed to unjunk that real quick. Turn to Nane Henry. So we got this area. Ah, Jesus. Oops. Oh, Jesus. Turner's finest bottled in 205 AA, a common but popular vintage from the ice, ice brine coast, known for its robust flavour, subtle warmth, and undertones of sweet herbs. What is it? What does it do? Uh, that's the one. Stop sneaking. What's up here then? Oh 
Oh shit. Oh, what's he doing? Wait, you stopped. Stop there, you. I need to go back to Henry and, uh... You stopped there. This is where we met him. Okay, we'll do his quest next, because he's a bit... He's a bit jumpy, isn't he? He goes... Do you know what I mean? He sort of goes... Forwards without you. Who are these enemies up here, though? Wolves. Can we sneak up on these wolves? to that wolf. There's another enemy up here. So we can, okay. It pauses combat. What's the green thing? Take it all. Twit, what's that? Tinder twig. Tinder twig is rather ironically fairly difficult to light, maintaining its moisture far longer than uh, most plants. If carefully dried and burned, however, its ash can grant the pure essence of fire to a potion. What? Thidens? I'm not smart enough to figure all this out. Oh, I missed a chest. Oh, and I missed one of these things. I don't know if what the face say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. <laughs> I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> Mm hmm that's that's unfortunate isn't it oh shit oh god it's not that way there you go uh numbing long sort of no i bet you i'm gonna junk something that's like really powerful and everyone's gonna uh Say that that was dumb. Oh shit. Oh no you don't, dickhead. There should be a quest book too, shouldn't there? Oh, 
We've got a big door there. Welcome. I wish I was fighting in the war. The action is in the east. No one's ever seen to offer this far west. Believe me, the attack has me spooked. I'm not even put my leg down. I'll stick to jail duty. At least there, the criminals are behind locked doors. Oh, we talked to you. Our guests aren't the wickedest breed you'll find in these forests, but they're bad enough to earn a spot in my collection. Stay clear. That's an order. My cousin is Herc Adward, the village warden. You might have met him. Herc asked me to move to Gorhar to help him keep the peace. I've only been here a few days, and look what I'm up against. Red Legion, two Arthur, and bodies lying in the road. I'm off to a grand start. She sounds like a race commentator, doesn't she? I'm searching for treasure in that nearby Iraqi ruin, Agno Farhol. But they say it's overrun with dark spirits. Well, we could go and look I at it. I was fighting in the war. The action is in the east. Very easy. No Unlock Lawbreaker's Grotto. Welcome. Do we get money again? We do get money. Right, let's offload our stuff. Is this the right place? Clurikon. Hello. Yes. What do you need? Shop. Um. Sell. Oh. Birch scepter. Get rid of that. Sell all junk. Wait. Why haven't we got? Did I just buy something? Perfidious boots. I thought we were close to getting seven five hundred. Alchemy workbenches allow you to produce your own potions, provided you have the necessary reagents and alchemy skill. Produce your own potions. I suppose a health potion is the only thing we really want. I don't use magic too often. Right, we need to tell. Is her name Henry? Yeah, Henry. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nani Hanri. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Oh, proceed robes of the embers. Robes of embers. Goodbye. Quest complete, recipe for trouble. There we go, we got something done. The Scolia Arcana is an organization of mages dedicated to the exploration of arcane and mystical occurrences throughout Amalar. Dun, 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 Music's good, isn't it? I suppose it, wow, well, yeah. Especially if um, you don't harm over it. Uh, armor hands perfidious boots <gasps> we can't equip it oh those aren't as good as I thought should get rid of those each time you attempt to steal there's a chance you'll get caught the more nearby characters are aware of you do you need? I need to sell um oh shit the robes of the embers Goodbye. let's see what the robes of the embers look like Wep no armor robes 
Is that the one? Oh. What was... What was that thing that she just gave us? Running man leggings. Running man armor. What was... What does the 23 out of 25, does that mean it's going to break eventually? Crude iron kike. Kite. <laughs> um, copper talisman blocks four damage. Destiny's distress. Isn't that one better? Whoa, I think that one's better. Smelted with the living essence of fate, the shield stands stronger than most against the forces that bind all creatures to their destinies. What's the tower? Ah, oh, it's. I thought it was. Never mind. I think this one looks. This one's better. Your hand comes through it, doesn't it? Should we keep that though? Because in case if this stuff breaks, I'm gonna need. I add that to junk, and then. Yes. What do you need? I need to sell all junk. Sell for two gold. Iron checkers, robes of the embers. I don't want them. What else was it? There was something else, wasn't there? I bet you I'm going to sell something by accident that's like really use useful. Uh, we can buy a backpack now, can't we? Where's the backpack? What does that do? A simple band of copper imbued with magic. Squire's ring. Right, let's buy a backpack. Obtaining this item increases your inventory limit by 10. Oh, I thought it would be more than that. Well, whatever, we'll get it. I mean, there's not like anything else we're gonna buy anyway. Wait, wait, no, no, there's a compendium there. What's that? This book covers the various peoples found across Amala from Almain to Varani. Compendium of the Peoples of Amala by Lexius the Old. Chapter 14, the Varani. Varani history. These people are said to have descended from an ancestry shared in common with the Almain and long ago migrated north and away from the fertile lands of southern Alfaria. The word Varani is derived from the Jotun word for traveller or trader, and despite many attempts by Almain, Alfa, and others to bring the Varani under their influence, they have remained independent from any government. It is said that the desire to avoid governance is what drove the Varani away from the human kingdoms of the Almain and Basawin. As such, the Varani are found are to be found inhabiting islands off the coast as much as the coast itself. Varani appearance. The Varani are similar to Almain in average size and are typically more fair-skinned and fair-haired. They often feature elaborate tattoos or jewellery that accent, accent their otherwise practical cold weather clothing. Their garments are made to withstand the rigours of sea travel as well as the cold of the ice brine coast from whence they originate. Jewellery is usually made from gold and nobles often wear silks or pelts as well. The influence of other cultures can easily be seen in their manner of dress, including the rich colours of the alpha. Varani men usually groom long beards and sometimes braid them and the Varani women traditionally plait their hair. Varani Society. The Varani are a mostly nomadic seafaring people found along the Ice Brine Coast and other lands along the northern coast. They have small. Hang on. 
They have small settlements that serve as trading outposts, but are merchant sailors more than farmers or fishermen. Varani society is a non-gender based meritocracy. Uh, all ra rules aboard the ship are valued, and while they may not all be equal, they are not without their place and purpose. The Varani believe that anyone who is cunning and able to hold his or own serves a place aboard a ship. The Varani are not as religious as the Almain, but they are considered very superstitious. They use charms and amulets to ward off evil. While there is no unifying religion, the Varani are sensitive to signs and omens, and they have a strong concept of luck. Most of their superstitions involve the sea, which they regard with respect. Well, that was a very interesting book. Why can't we steal it? Albastra is home to the Useli Fay and the Court of Winter. Uh, right, so we got that. Okay. Do we have a quest book? Quests. The quest log contains all of your quests. You could set active quests by selecting a quest and pressing X. Right, main side. Completed. What's the, the little the blue thing on the right building bridges speak with Fred where was ah this is the one follow Egan to Waterhall down Two Fey have promised Brother Egan magical power if he retrieves a relic from the caverns of Waterhall Down. I will accompany Egan to keep him out of trouble. Waterhall Down is west of Egan's camp. We want to help him. Oh wow, it saves all these. Did you see them tea posing? It's beautiful colours, isn't it? Oh shit, we're going the wrong way. How do I get in the, in the water? too quick. I'm trying to be fancy. I was trying to be fancy and um, attacking with magic but uh, I fucked it up <laughs> quite simply. Oh look you have to look for these. Oh god I can't get in the water. Let me in the water. You have to look for these little search, searchy places. Greaves of the Giza. So you want to see what this stuff looks like. Inventory, armor. What was it? Greaves. Greaves of the Giza. Oh, those are crap. Wait, hang on. Are they though? Why are they blue? Why are they blue? Oh shit, I don't want to destroy it. No. I have a secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. 
My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. Why does it fill me with unease? Smoldering. No, we don't want that. Crude cotton road, liver armor. So hang on, let's look at the map. Can we set a waypoint anywhere? Oh no we can't. Why can't we set waypoints anywhere? Oh we can set waypoints on enemies. We can set them on why can't we just set a waypoint anywhere? You see, um I suppose it's not too Speak to Airy the Fae. Shrine of Thyldon. You see these, um, these stones, these blue things. Um, what was I going to say? They're, um, they seem like hidden objects, and you prob there's probably a point to um, finding all of them. Which means I'm going to need a map, doesn't it? At some point. Where has this man gone to? What was his name again? Where has he gone to? There he is. Oh, come back. Where are you going? Oh. Hold on. We need to do a little bit of searching around here first, mate. Wasn't that just where I was? Oh yeah, it is. So we went... Okay, we went all around that. Wait, where did we come from? Oh, we went down that way. And then out of the tree. And I think I searched all there. That was where the... Um, I can't remember the names of these things. The the mercenary gang type thing. Forges allow you to. Oh, wow! That was quick loading. Going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. I don't know much about the relic, only that it was supposedly crafted by a Fey mage named Armin the Clever. Armin is a good name. Not as good as Kazmaran, though. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. See you later. Oh. When can you say? He's so gonna die.
Wait, what do these look like? Oh, they look like those. Wait, that was the running man armor, wasn't it? Oh wait, and we need to jump that. Oh shit. What is that? Oh my god, ow. Is he invincible? It's just I remember early on in The Witcher you had um, that mission where you had to protect that woman coming home from oh shit coming home from the pub and uh, she totally died in my playthrough <laughs> Another key. How many were there? Five. We've already gotten two. Kazmaran fears nothing. Oh Christ. See with that hint on the screen. Wait, wait, we're not searching these caves very well, are we? What is that thing? We'll see loot pile. Helm of Did we search everywhere then? Pretty sure we did. Creatures will run from me in terror. Goodbye now. Christ. Oh God. Ah.
the Dvarga are the ultimate masters of the sea, known throughout Amalur as the best shipbuilders and sailors. Oh. Is mine a healing potion? Oh, I'm going to use one. We used a lot of potions there. Which ain't very good, is it? No, our armor. Uh, oh, equip failed. Equip failed. Equip failed. That's junk. Shepherd's gauntlets. Gauntlets of the. No. Crude gauntlets. Perfidious. Yeah, we looked at them. The truth. Keep forgetting that I've got a shield. Got a big, nice shield. My arm goes through it, though. Just saying. <laughs> There's always a complaint with you, isn't there, Andrew? I'm just saying, it's not like... It doesn't matter. Arbos and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. This is their camp, isn't it? Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. Am I a Varani? I can't remember now. Goodbye now. What now? What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. What do you mean? Before the war, we plundered Rothfear from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities. Fey abilities. So, you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. I don't like these people. What if I wish to keep it? You have to pay for it with your life. You see, we have much invested in this deception. Blood, gold, not to mention the hours wasted on Egan. We may be criminals, but we're an honourable pair. We worked hard for our prize, and now we mean to have it. Uh, the veil is cursed. Should we say that? Look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. Let's hope that I I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorhart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell, come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Bye then. Whoa, what? Something tells me we should have killed these people. And who might you be? Another fool from Gorhart? <laughs> do I look like a fool? Yeah, I do actually. I don't care enough to have an opinion of the poor fellow, I'm afraid. Flits in and out of my thoughts, never registering. The most useful fools are the ones who never leave an impression. 
Huh? My twin sister and I share a very close relationship. It allows us to work fluidly without consultation. In other words, we act as one. Yes, these lands still belong to the Fae, but they aren't as treacherous as many believe. In fact, you can make a killing if you can brave the wild. Farewell. Where are we going? Going back to the mission. I don't think I've been up here before. If it's very... Oh, shit. If it's very easy... You should be able to just straight unlock it. Uh, I know we're here, aren't we? Has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. Receive daggers of bloodletting. It is only by the grace of Mithardu that Egan has been returned to us. Of course. You had a hand in that miracle as well. The authority works in many ways. You should join me here at the mission. You're like me, curious about the mysteries of the outside world. We must purge you of those impulses as soon as possible. <laughs> no. I don't know what came over me. The twins poisoned my thoughts and made me think that magic belonged in mortal hands. Only Matharu wields the power to change who I am. I am clay in his hands. Of course, I did like the name Kazmaran. It had music. See you later. Oh, hang Father on. Father Dinwell says I have a promising future here at the mission. My dishwashing is inspired. <laughs> his words. He's a kind man for taking me back among the brothers. It will take time, but I will work my way into his heart again. I have faith. Ashamed at how they used me. I was so ignorant, so greedy. I only wanted to feel like I understood the world. They took advantage of that. This is where I belong. I knew nothing of the greater world when I arrived, but now I have tasted the fruit of temptation. I have rededicated myself to prayer and scripture. I have stumbled, but Mitharu has granted me mercy. I won't disappoint him again. Bye then. Let's have a look at these houses. Did I look in here? I can't remember. Mitharu 3. This well-worn religious text bears the holy symbol of the order of Mitharu. The word of Mitharu according to St. Edric, and thusly ordered Mitharu said unto the people, Behold the way of the world, there are cycles within the great cycle, and as I give order and structure to this world, so too do you, for I have gifted unto you the knowledge of the great pattern of fate. You shall know of your mortality, and understand what makes the seasons to pass, and the fire to burn. I give unto you the ability to create as I have created, and to understand the mechanisms of your world as I understand all things. You shall be as you shall all be as creators of your own world, and therefore, my children, you are as all as I am. 
Remember then these words as I speak them through the voice of the three. You are all ordered as such. Embrace and follow the plan. I didn't read that very well, did I? Wait, we need to level up. Um, I do like lock picking. Dispelling, discrease, and dispelling, or detect hidden. No, 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 no. Blacksmithing, alchemy, merchantile. Persuasion. Bribe costs for crime. Stealth. Should we do? Let's do that. Should we do dagger mastery again? Mastery over the Fey Blades, chief weapons. All right, that's Fey Blade. Weapon attacks unlocks to charge special attacks for daggers and fey blades. Extra shadow strike, hold and release the daggers to begin dashing combo that can be chained up to five times to its core. Let's do one of them then. We'll do that. Confirm. Whoa, that's quite cool. That is quite cool, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> shouldn't really practice that in this house, should you? So if we pick the lock, no one cares, right? I don't want that. Oh, a frying pan. Isn't that supposed to be, wait, an iron frying pan of low quality? Hmm. Why do I feel like that's something that you can craft into a, an amazing weapon? This religious text advises against the evils of drinking to excess and its repercussions. On drink and excessive carousing, part six. The righteous St. Hadwin spoke of wine as his little friend in the faith, for it can serve to muster the courage and settle the stomach. It balances the humours in the same fashion as Mitharu's order e equilibrium equilibrates the disarray of this mortal life, strengthening the sick of body and calming the wounded of spirit. Yet many tragedies await the miserable wretches who expel temperance from conviviality. Think excess in drinking to be the happiest life, for their life is nothing but disorientation, debauchery, nakedness, spewing, idleness, hexes and more drink. You may see such sluggards, half-naked, staggering, wearing horse bridles about their necks, like the fineries of kings, vomiting on one another in the name of fellowship, and others flush with the rose of their drunkenness, f filthy faces like the pile, bulbous countenance of fish, livid and still seeking another flagon of ale to last them till the sunrise. It is well, dear brothers, to make our acquaintance with this portrait of man that is most disabled as to place ourselves at the greatest possible distance from it and to frame ourselves as the beacon toward which these louts must scat stagger. Mitharu has blessed us with one word to counter all such disability, water. Water is the natural necessary beverage and the gift of the authority. Therefore, water is the proper drink of society and of sobriety. As with all blessings in keeping with the authorities' order, drink should be partaken of with the utmost temperance and moderation to maintain one's health, one's good standing, and one's importantly, and most importantly, one's faith. I therefore advise those who have undertaken an 
ascetic life and who are fond of water, the sweet juice of temperance, to turn their backs on consumption for the sake of intoxication, shunning the allure of the bowl, and instead quenching their thirst with the divine drink of wisdom. It is proper, therefore, that young men avoid the flickering tongue of the chaos drink, for it is not right to pour into the flaming cauldron of humanity the fieriest of all liquids, wine, adding as it were fire to fire, the cackling blaze will ignite the youthful impulses of man's worst desires. Beware the lusts of the flesh and the hot touch of fornication. Beware lusts for vicious violence and animalistic predation. Beware the roll of the dice and the forked tongue of the hexes, dealer. For it is from the goblet that fiery habits are kindled, and young men inflamed from within become prone to the indulgence of vis vicious propensities. Okay then, guess we shouldn't drink anymore. There's a down and there's an up. Sorry, were those um, expensive? Wait, no one's going to see that though, are they? I took it. No one, no one cared. Mitharu three. It's well worn religious text bears the holy symbol of the order of Mitharu. The word of Mitharu, according to Saint Hadwin, and thus the word. The world was ordered perfectly in Mitharu's image. There are the seasons which Mitharu causes so that all things are balanced. There is the earth and sky which are separated in the same balance by the day and the night. The sea and the land are again the same difference in the balance of the world with the ebb and flow of the tide. There are the beasts of Mitharu's making, the plants which feed the beasts of the world and which feed upon the world itself, and finally there are the remnants of Mitharu's hand, the shards of our world. Here the work of Mitharu is visible to those who would welcome the great order of the world into his or her life. It's like a minuscule version of the world itself. There is nothing as ordered as the line of lights of a flawless gem it is the divine shape of Mitharu. Mith or reading them backwards. The word of Mitharu, according to St. Odwig, in the beginning the world was shrouded in darkness. Out of this nothingness arose Mitharu, who brought forth the firmament, firmament and the celestial heavens and drew the arcane veil from the world. Mitharu was order and gave unto the world a great and wondrous design. Ages of this perfection passed, but there was still darkness, and out of the random places of darkness left in the world, chaos arose. Mitharu called this Telogras, a foul and ruined thing. The children of Telogras destroyed the firmament and seared the earth. Again, everything was plunged into darkness, but Mitharu hid us from the devastation. Deep within the bosom of the earth, we were nurtured by Mitharu's divine guidance. Even in the darkest corners of the world, we were illuminated by the surety of order. When the proper time came, Mitharu's children themselves led us from this darkness and into the glory of Mitharu's world, a new reborn and made to grow into perfection. I love that thwop sound that the book makes when you um when you put it back. Wait, what was that? Oh no, we can see through the world. Anyway. The Morning Prayer. Scroll was written in an immaculate calligraphy. The Morning Prayer. Blessed be Mitharu, the great order of the world, for in his presence we are forever. The light of peace guide us. Warm us in the gentle cradle of your great embrace. Keep us from our thoughts of despair and burden. You who are so mighty in your sovereign house, bless us with your in 
interminable love. Grant us strength and courage in your most holy name to bear the hardships of the world. You who guard us with a mighty arm, hear our prayers. We are your servants, mighty Lord, 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 mighty Lord, who praise none other but your name. We are your loyal flock who follow you, follow your guiding hand to sanctuary. Through your grace we are enlightened, so we may better do your will. You alone rose to greet us and free us from the darkness of our ways. As the morning sun sheds its bounty upon the land, so too, Lord, you illuminate our way. Blessed be Mitharu, the great order of the world, for in his presence we are forever. This place is kind of creeping me out. Why is there no one in here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nailed it. Let's take the gold. Oh, minor experience. Oh, I take that. There's no one here, so they can't see. They can't see me stealing all their shit. Each member of the House of Ballads has a strong, has a song associated with. I can't read today, can I? That's what they all say. I can't read today. When can you read? I don't know. The what? Reliquary. Reliquary. Oh, look at this place. Let's sit. Whoa. Who are you? If you're ever feeling overburdened with the weight of the world, feel free to visit us here. Our home is your home. A discussion on the history of Yolvan. Chapter 1. Yolvan is a curious island of normalcy in the heart of Dalantarth, bordered by the enigmatic Odorath. The notorious Webwood and the enchanted Glendara, Yolvan is known primarily as the bastion of nat natural creatures in these lands. And while bears, wolves, and antelope are certainly to be found here, the area is not as devoid of more magical forms of life. In fact, it is sometimes a common occurrence to see sprites attacking packs of wolves or bears doing battle with the odd troll that has stumbled into their den. This dichotomy is even more apparent when one considers the fact that the war sworn keep a base in a stronghold here, within eyeshot of the mystical fey institution known as the House of Ballads, and while interactions, if any, between the two groups are often genial enough, it is curious to note the tension between the natural and the unnatural in Yolvan. The area is actually rather small, which some have attributed to the spread of the more magical forests, exacerbated by what many by, by what many perceive to be a rise in magic, but noticeable for the sudden drop of the tree line. There are large expanses or ruins similar to those found in Lorca Rain, but those but whose origins remain rather mysterious. They do not resemble Fey architecture or Earth Erathi or those of the stronghold in the region, but they are known to house a few secrets to be uncovered by those brave enough to explore them. Alas, what more can be said of Yolvan? This small beat in the rhythm of the forest, this footnote in the annals of Dalantarth, too small to care deeply of, too large to ignore, too normal to pique curiosity, but too mysterious to inspire boredom. For many, it is but a means of travelling from one magical world world to the wood to the next but for the worldlier traveler it is a destination in and of itself what brother till's collection this locked bookshelf holds is the collection of brother till the late scripture master of saint Ob with Odwig's perpetual mission. From the looks of the titles and the remaining books till's literary interests tend toward the lewd and the what? 
lascivious, lascivious, you may retrieve all of the missing volumes and return them to Till's collection for a reward. Oh. During your travels, you have come upon a book belonging to Brother Till, the late scripture matter of Petra. Titles in Till's literary interest they tend towards the lewd levations, which he all of the mist. We read Mythario 1, didn't we? So is it going to tell me, it's going to tell me where the books are? Hope that wasn't expensive. Oh, we can steal that. Careful, unadorned lettering fills this simply bound book. The teachings of St. Hadwin. Live simple and without ambition, for in this there is order and clarity. Make practice of that which orders the mind. Sweep if sweeping brings you peace. Perform alchemy if in it you find Mitharu. Keep ever your toenails trim and your beard of a moderate length. I pray on my be beads every day, counting out the orders and the symmetries of Mitharu. When I die, inter inter my remains within the earth, but do not bury my beads. All my prayer has gone into them. They are heavy with it. I wish them given to another, and when he dies, let him pass them on as well. This brittle yellowing document describes the characteristics sought after for ordination into the Order of Mitharu. Can we not read it? I can't read it. I don't need any of that stuff. Ah, so we take the potion. They won't mind. What is this book? Oops, I took it. Oh, I feel bad now because it's empty. Can we read it? Can we not give it... I feel bad now. Can we not put it back? I thought we'd be able to read it if we looted it. Never mind. I'm sure we'll forget that soon enough. It's locked and can only be opened with the proper key. I'm afraid it is happening, mate. Use Sagecraft Altar. Sagecrafting allows you to create gems and use them to add powerful bonuses to your weapons and armor. Combine shards into gems or create stronger shards here. This option is locked when you do not have at least two shards to strengthen or combine into a gem, socket gem. Socket gems into equipment. This option is locked when you know. From here you can combine any shard you possess and turn them into gems. Combining different types of shards will produce different effects. Try experimenting. Quality clouded. So just filled with magical energies of protection, ice. Oh, this is too confusing. Combine it with other shards, etc. Twelve piercing damage. 
congratulations, you've created a new gem. It can be socketed into any equipment with an unusable, unused socket. Invigorating gem. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Here is a list of your available equipment possessing at least one unused socket. Select the item which you wish to add a gem. We're not wearing them. Ah, never mind. You can now add any of your gems to the item you selected. Different gems have different effects. Fire shield. Okay, that's confusing. Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter and is there anything I can I I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. What well, his voice rings a bell. <gasps> it's not Cam Clark, is it? I'll admit it. My past is a tapestry of drunkenness and loose morals, women and wine. No. I'm not proud of it. But I couldn't have gotten where I am without making mistakes. He's got the same tattoo as us, Ali. The people here are kind, yet suspicious. They believe the mission harbors secrets, and they're right. It filled the hunger I was hoping to sate with wine, women, anything and everything. The mission gives my life meaning. He does sound a bit like Cam Clark. That is his name, isn't it? Uh, I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel, a raider in the dreaded Red Legion, a gang of the notorious bandit Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. But now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. Is there another way? I could hand myself over to Red, but he'd have me killed. The only other choice is to kill the men who left with me. I can't do that. I'm not the man I used to be. I'm not the man I used to be. I'll take care of it. I do what I must. I only hope Ugnar and Itrin will forgive me. Ugnar works in Gorhart village. Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi, still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Mithoro bless you. Achoo. Received a Red Legion dagger. It is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Surrender your life or the lives of two others. Ugnar could always be found by Red's side, Red's right hand. But beneath his brutal exterior, Ugnar was a good man. Tortured by the ghosts of his dead wife and children. Itrin, however, rivals only Red Edward in his bloodlust. They say he was once a Justicar, but was expelled for brutality. His devotion to his god Enadon is fanatical. I fought under Red for years, but I know nothing of him. I do know this he will do anything to get what he wants. The most dangerous kind of man is one without limits. Ugnar works for the inn at Gorhart. Itrin has taken to calling himself the Shade. Marauds travelers in Haxi. Mithoru is with you. Oh, it's locked. I remember. What was that, the Red Legion? Is that what they're called, the Red Legion? They're daggers. 
Yeah, they. I know they're not in my um, accessories. How many? Oh, okay. Items. Red Legion dagger. This red crystal dagger is carried by every member of the Red Legion, the band of notorious criminals and thieves. Ah, oh, this is what I missed, isn't it? Oscar Krast's blade. The ceremonial Red Legion blade that once belonged to Oscar Krast. Okay. Wait, what is that? Hang on. What's the anonymous? What's that? If I only made it to a forest, didn't like it. Trees everywhere. I know. I did how whole guard to see all the shadows. Did I read this before? Anonymous journal, day 20. Finally made it to this forest. Don't like it. Trees everywhere to hide enemies. Uh, we'll have to tell Holgar. It's hard to see what's a shadow and what's a creature. Tomorrow I reach Gorhart, the last stop before the Feylands. The trip so far has been uneventful. Should be able to find work amongst these folk. Day 25. Bound work, guarding a trader between this village and the Gnome Tower. His name is Wallace, quiet town, isolated. He is afraid of the pixies hiding in the bushes. Not surprising coming from someone who lives in the village of cowards. Probably afraid he'll end up like Alden Gorhart's father, eaten by a bar guest. Day 27. Saw something entering an overgrown thicket on the way to Arden's, and I thought I'd glimpse something shining in there. Treasure, perhaps. I wouldn't be so lucky, but I'll go see what I can find tomorrow. Hmm. Should we do this Red Legion mission? Bum 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 bum. Oh, um, I wanted to check up these stairs. What's going on? I'm glad you are well. Who are you? His curiosity got the best of him, and we almost lost him. He's a good soul, but young, foolish. He will learn in time. Mitharu has led us to this hilltop for a reason. And that is to end the phase long cycle of kinship with chaos. These poor creatures crave order. Look around you. This whole forest is a shrine to nature. Which is, as you know, Mitharu's greatest gift. The men and women of Gorhart are good people. But I tend not to socialize with them. Their concerns are their own. As are those of St. Odwig's. Her lies and accusations border on heresy. Better watch her words, lest they coil back to bite her in the throat. This mission was founded to aid all those seeking Mitharo's divine order. There are others as well. St. Hadwin's is east of here, and St. Edric's is to the south. He is the authority, the great creator, the being of supreme order. All Almain claim him as their own. Of course, his wisdom is available to all who seek it. Make yourself at home. I'm glad you are well. Goodbye. I'm still deciding whether or not my decision to join St. Odwin's was a good one. Aside from my near death, it's been quite peaceful. <laughs> Goodbye now. Brother... D Forgive me if I seem a little on edge. I keep expecting to see them. 
Mithoru is with you. Well, that was easy. Ah, oh, they're going to see you. Can we read this? The writings on these documents are too faded to be of value. Now hear ye, people. I am... I've forgotten my name. Run away. That's how all my social encounters go. Forget the very basics. Do you ever do that when you are on a telephone call? You write down a script for what you need to say and you write down everything, including your own name. Does, it, does everyone do that? Or is it just me? Quests. Building bridges. Long overdue. Okay, let's do... So we need three daggers. We got one. Brother Delf of St. Odwig's mission has asked me to help him avoid retaliation from the leader of the Red Legion, Red Idward. I've agreed to recover ceremonial Red Legion daggers from former members of Ognar Ogdgrey of Gorhart Village and Ith Itran, a wanderer in Haxi. Why are you, um, exclamation marked? Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Yeah, but they... They're not doing anything bad, are they? You've acquired the ordination tome? But how? The monks of St. Odwigs keep it in their reliquary under lock and key. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mithara. Despite scripture in this book, to the contrary. You have done a good thing today, my friend. You have given hope to many. Please take this gold. It is all I have. But I won't need it once I take my vow of poverty. What's that? Removed ordination. Oh, okay. So that was... We were supposed to take that. Oh, well. That's fair enough. On you go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Did I wake you up? Why is... Oh, is he... Greetings. I don't remember the last time I slept. The Red Legion has everyone on guard. We don't ever take our eyes off the ball. But this guy is part of the Red Legion, isn't he? Make it quick. I've got work to do. Can't pay my debts with firewood. Not in Gorehart. What do you know of the Red Legion? Whatever it is, forget it. You'll be safer, wiser, and better off in the end. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. I knew it was only a matter of time, and I'm not surprised. Delf will do anything to save his own hide, but hiring a sword to do his bloody work is disgraceful. If you want to collect my dagger, you'll have to fight me for it. Steel for steel. I used to be quite the scrapper. Didn't Delf tell you that? Edward knows where I am. When he shows up, the only thing to keep me from death is still having this knife. What's don't play Red's game? You're right. I've spent years trying to bury my past, hoping to wash away my sins with an honest day's work. If I took the blood right, Red would owe me once more. Take my dagger. Tell him I'm dead. For the Ugnar Odgrey you once knew is truly gone. Well, that's fair enough. Wise up, my friend. What do you mean, wise up? Fight me. <laughs> Can you imagine that? He'd just, uh, just do a 180. 
way to this. Uh, world map. Arden's hut, Agnes, or Gore Hut. We're not going to. Ah, oh, maybe we are. What is it called? Hexy. What's the silver one? Someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. What's the There's banner? There's for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land south of here. You got the same hair as me, aren't you? Alex brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't share his optimism about the loot we'll find, but if we get only a fraction of it... What? Alex brainchild, if you can believe it. I don't share his optimism about the loot we'll find, but if we get only a fraction of it... Made a living pillaging the ruins of old places like Talarain. Robbing the dead tastes better than stealing from the living. I'm a good enough thief. Never once been caught. Still have all my fingers, or didn't you notice? I'm a thief and I've still got all mine. The name's enough to put most explorers off. Bugger them, I say. Just less competition. Besides, what's in a name? I spent two years trying to make a fortune in a land called the Painted Orsks. Never did find out what an orsk was. <laughs> ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, see Kellet Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Glad that's done with. Where are you off to? Oh, we're gonna have to. Where is she going? Oh, we've got to help this guy. He might die. Two legs, please help me. Oh, the two legs are cruel. They will not help. No. I am cast. What? A pack of two legs gave me this name, but they would not give me help. They hit me and drove me away, just for eating their <clears throat> tasty meat birds. But what did I do wrong? Are you faking this? I was cursed by three sprites who were bored. Had I fang and claws, I would shred them like meat birds. Meat and birds. And think me but another two legs now. Will not suffer my approach. I am without a pack. But it is worse than that. Your 
too like life is unbearable. Like these strange things called... <laughs> pants. How do you tolerate them? They're called trousers, mate. This is good for the hunt. This wood of smell and shadow. As a two legs I cannot stalk, cannot pray. Bloodlust. <laughs> this is agony. You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf. Cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. But two leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. This form. Will you help two legs? Uh, yes. Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned. The sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood. And from that they draw. Power. Their pack is small, but they are each powerful. They came to this forest not long ago, drawn by the magic of the, the well. Were I a wolf, they could not best me. But as two legs, I am clumsy and weak. Wait, what did he say? Eat your power. They came to this forest not long ago, drawn by the magic of the, the well. Were I a wolf, they could not best me. But as two legs, I am clumsy and weak. Be careful. Uh, the well. Mighty trees were saplings. It used to wander throughout this corner of the wood until the sprites ensnared it. Are we helping this guy now? The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Beware them. They have much magic. Return swiftly. Where is the woman off to? Where are you going? Oh, she's going to fight these people. Wolves. Shit, where did she go? New location discovered Arden's hut. Ah, I think we lost her, damn. I was too busy trying to loot the, the stuff. I think she'll go to some hub place, won't she? Right, should we go and help this wolf man? Oh, we've got a, a thing here. Let's try not to get too um, backtracked.
equal thing. Got it. Oh no, we're encumbered again. Was she okay? What's that thing there? I don't get it. Press X when the cursor is above a glyph to break it. Glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all the glyphs reseal. Some glyphs reseal faster than others. Be careful of the order you break them in. Break all type of glyphs to dispel the ward. I see. I'm gonna actually have to destroy something. Hang on. See something in our junk. Let's destroy that. I wanna help this wolf man. Are we going in the right direction? Where did the wolf... wasn't the wolf man around here? Wolf man, wolf man, where's the wolf man? What's that? I'm sure he was around here, hang on, let's... Uh, quests... Out of the... Okay, building bridge red right into the ground. Strange variety Romeo Yolvar has asked me to bring him a drink from the wandering well in order to break a curse placed on him by some mischievous sprites. I think this is a fairly simple task, isn't it? Oh Jesus, got ambushed. Well, why is it invincible? I'm going to have to go back and sell some stuff. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Right, we were here then. Can I fast travel? Where's... Is it Gorha? Weaken enemies with a poison effect and their attacks will do less damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we need to... Right, I need to look at my inventory and my armor. Let's have a look at these. I can't... They're all the same, aren't they? This junket. 
think these are going to be? I don't know. I'm junking them. Perdiferous boots. Accessories. Oh, right, I see. Bio hell. Lightning resistance. Should we jump that? Six experience bonus. A large heavy malachite gem in this ring has been cut to appear as a series of crisscrossing lines and patterns. Can we only wear two at once? Oh, I'm going to junk this then. Consumables. Can we use that? Increases the XP you receive per kill by. Why can't we use that now? Oh, does it only work for a limited time? Oh, fuck. Probably shouldn't have used that then. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. I shouldn't have drunk that. It increases your experience gained for a little a limited time. What do you need? I need to sell all my junk. Whoa. So what do they have? Not really anything that... Come see me again. Certainly will. When I need to offload more junk to you. If you want to completely rebuild your currency, you can fade water to pay them. Oh wow. Oh, it's Water hold down. Should we just have a jog? Let's have a general jog. Jogging around. Robin Banks. I guess it's this way because it's where the gold ring is. You uh you need need to level up, don't I? Before we get our regents. So we were here. Okay, what's this quest man? Oh he's he's the guy. Not yet. got me. Oh, watch me fuck this up. Spell the statue of Aman. Wait, how do you do it again? Oh shit. Dispelled. Wait, hang on. 
Has this map changed? Uh oh. And a reckoning. Blimey. Return to the en enemy. Hearty. What does that do? Simple band of copper imbued with magic. Well, I feel like I've got all turned around. That's junk. Two legs. Do you come to me empty handed? What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-legged kind might... <laughs> ...call it the well that wanders. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear, like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it seeks. Before I was cursed, I remember... <laughs> Strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. Leechwood? That is the two leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. It appears through the forest. Should not be hard to find. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. It must be what the well is seeking. Okay. So we need to go deeper into the woods. This is very windy, isn't it? A windy old path. We focus on what we're doing. What is this? A radiant thing. This elm longbow is better than what we've got. Should we equip it? Oh, I think I like the other bow anyway. Inventory, weapons. Should just junk it. Oh, 
Ah, the wandering well. As the leechwood bark lands on the surface of the pool, it sinks into the swirling blackness, and suddenly all seems at peace. You take the draught of the wandering well. Turn to... Um, 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 um. They got me a bit there, didn't they? Nope, let's return to the guy. Werewolf man. God, these maps, I mean, these woods are quite. Okay, I see. Oh, they're not that windy then. Cheated. You fucking disappeared. What's the purple meter that's quite, um, that's like a quarter down? It's locked, can only open with the proper key. Currently have no active. Co oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm exploring the woods. What are these things? A bar guest. There's three RPGs that I want to be playing. That's Mass Effect this game and um, the witcher if I have to live for the rest of my life without him knowing well then I'll deal with that I think there's something to be said for it I think it's noble yeah I could tell someone but that's just asking for praise what makes it an act of kindness is that nobody knows or at least that he doesn't know I let him have the glory no one has to know his arrow missed. He saved the town. He's a hero. Hmm. That sounds like the medieval, doesn't it? Did his arrow miss? Oh, God, I can't remember. Can't remember the lore. Lyria's Blessing. I wish I knew what all these meant. Let's have a look at that map. That goes into nowhere. Or does it just mean it's undiscovered? Oh yeah, and Fable. 
I want to be playing Fable at some point. I love the way she puts those weapons away. with a flourish. Jump down, jump down, jump down. How'd you get in there then? Oh shit, we've been ambushed. Ow, ow. Resisted. Oh, they... Shit. I'm dying. was a battle, wasn't it? Jump down a ball, jump down a ball. Jump down a ball, hang on. Jump down a jump down a jump down, jump down. Where does all this go then? running out of potions. Huh. Shouldn't I like be heading to some kind of quest? you down. Oh, I leveled up. So this is the little place with the little jump down of balls. What's that chest? Average. Uh oh. Pressing X while the cursor is over Dark Sigil will cause the ward to explode. Oh wow, I can't believe I did that. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff though. That's a jump downable. Oh, that's a jump downable up there. Huh. Where does this go?
Gorgoth. I don't know if we should go down there yet. What's the silver O? What's that all about? Minor healing potion, that's what we want. Right, let's look at our inventory primary. Don't want that. Uh, secondary armor. Cotton hand wraps. No, we don't want those. Hideous boots. Right. Uh, let's have a look in the shop. Let's get rid of all our junk and then we'll end there. I need to sell all junk. Come see me again. Right, should have saved. We'll we'll set we'll do a save. We'll do a save on top of our other one. like that meme in it level four rogue six hours it's like that meme isn't it that you save and then you do loads and loads of it auto saves and then you do loads and loads of saves on top of it anyway um we'll end there my name is Waldoski and thank you to every single one of you who watched and I may see you tomorrow cut Marvel.